I'd like just to say Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers that are listening and uh, I really mean that sincerely. I have a deep love for my mum. She sacrificed her love and you know even with her illness, her good times and bad times, she always put her, her kids and her family first above everything else and that's the sacrifice mothers um, offer and I, I thank you mothers as much as I thank, thank my mother and God bless you. Now we're all about preaching the gospel, setting, setting captives free with the truth of the gospel and asking people to make Jesus Christ their Lord and their Saviour so that they can receive their salvation. But what do you have to do to be saved? Now, do you know the Apostle Paul gives you the formula in Ephesians 1, 13, 14. And it's a simple formula. And what he says, in him, and he's talking about in Christ, in him you also trusted after you heard the word of the truth, the gospel of your salvation, in whom also, having believed, you were sealed with the Holy Spirit of promise. In 14 it says, who, the, talking about the Holy Spirit, who is the guarantee of our inheritance until the redemption of the purchased possession of the pra praise of his glory. Now, 1 Corinthians 15, 1 to 4, it says, moreover, moreover, brethren, I declare to you the gospel which I preached to you, which also you received, and in which you stand, by which also you, you are saved, if you hold fast the word which I preach to you, unless you believe in vain. For I believed, for I delivered you first of all that which I also received, that Christ died for our sins according to Scripture, and that he was buried and he arose again on the third day according to the Scriptures. And that's the gospel. Jesus died for you. He paid for you as your sins. He shed his blood for you. He arose three days later. He's now seated at the right hand of the Father. And Jesus said, I must go. When the apostles asked him where he was going, so he could send a helper. And that helper is the Holy Spirit, who he, Paul speaks about being the, the spirit of promise. Now, the way you do that is in Romans 10.8, it says, but what does it say? The word is near you, in your mouth, and in your heart. That is the word that we preach. That if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. That's the formula and that's the way to receiving your salvation. For with the heart one believes with, unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto your salvation. For scripture says, whoever believes on him will not be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jews and Greek for the same Lord over all is rich to all who call upon him. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. There's the formula right there. Amen. Whoever calls upon the Lord shall be saved. It's an action that you must take. It doesn't happen just because you're a believer. You've got to get down on your knees and you've got to cry out and call out to God. You've got to come in repentance, believe with your heart and confess with your lips that Jesus died for you on the cross, that he shed his blood and was crucified, and that he rose again from the dead. That's the formula right there. Use your faith, believe and receive. And invite the deity of the Lord into existence by interacting with Jesus in God's love. Become born again. 
Do you want to know the truth or hide behind falsehood? And the truth is in Jesus. So I'm just going to sh share a quick prayer for you to, co to confess with your mouth and believe with your heart and confess with your tongue. But ask Jesus right now and just say this with us. I confess. I repent of my sin. Jesus died for me, that he was crucified, that he rose again from the dead. Jesus, come into my heart. Say that sincerely and cry out to Jesus now. Whoever calls on the name of the Lord will be saved and receive the power of the Holy Spirit, the love of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Receive your salvation and be born again today in Jesus' name. God bless you.